Hi Stampers! This is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how to make this card and I'm calling this technique floating strips and it, and it sort of has a 3D look and they look like the strips are floating. It'll look better when you look at the picture uh, when it's all completed. So this is our sample sheet and what your sample sheet would probably look like for club members. If you're interested in learning more about the club, just go onto my website or email me for any information. I also made a couple cards. This is the one we'll be making today. I also made a couple others, just experimenting, and it's a real fun technique. So this is one that I made, and uh, this is... Um, it's, it's just using different colors, which this does not have to be one color. I did that for ease for the club. I also did it made using just designer paper, and this is the Artistic Expressions designer paper with a gold leaf or a gold tree just embossed and put that on top of it, and that's really stunning in person. I also did another one. I was on a roll. And I did another one with, again, different colors, sort of an ombre look on the top and bottom, and then the green on the middle, and just put a leaf on there. So it's just a real fun technique, and you can do a lot of different things with it. So let's get started. So the first thing is taking, in your kit, you should have a piece of three and a quarter, three and a half, okay, it's three and a half by five, and it's textured, and I use the taste, tasteful, I think it's tasteful textures, I'll have to look. Now this was the most difficult part for some of the people. If you have OCD, or everything has to be perfect, if you get out of, I'm trying to explain this, so if you get out of that mode, um, it will be maybe more fun, so I'm going to use this paper cutter rather than my other one because I won't be able to see measurements. A lot of people felt they needed to make all of these strips the same size, and you can see that they're not. They're, they're all different sizes. I started about three quarters of an inch and went down to maybe a three-eighths, whatever. You don't have to be specific on, on these measurements. And so my suggestion, and every card will look different, and I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. There's eight on this one. Another one of mine had seven. There's no specific number that you have to have. So I'm just cutting, so you can see. So I'm just cutting random little strips. And... You do want to make sure that you cut them straight, and to make sure you're doing it straight on this on any kind of chopper paper cutter, you want to make sure it's pushed up to the top. And I guess I will show you on the other paper cutter, so you don't, so you you'll know. You do the same thing. You just make sure it's up against the top. Again, I'm not measuring, and so if you use a different kind of a paper cutter, you have less tendency to make them even. So I'm just. I'm just cutting, no big deal, and not measuring. So I have all my strips, and that took the longest for people because they felt they needed to have even strips. And you don't. You, you want random. So now we're going to take a piece of window sheet. And this may be hard to see on camera. No, it's not too bad. And this, ew, it got icky. This piece is three by five. So the strips are actually a little uh, wider than, let me take a different one. They're actually a little wider than your your paper or your window sheet because it's easier to get them straight and to trim afterward. So I already have some that have adhesive on them so I'm going to grab those. That way you don't have to see me glue and stick or glue. Okay. So I, I have one that's the bigger one, and what I found works best is if you hold this upright, 
just hold it up flat and get the piece to the bottom and you have a little bit on each side and just push down. That way you have a straight bottom and you have a straight start to your to your strips. Now if you use grid paper you can easily just then line the next one up to one of the one of your little grids, one of your lines, and that way you'll be assured that they're straight. I'm better at eyeing it up for myself. So then you just go from the bottom up, different sizes, just stick them on there. About a, again, about an eighth of an inch, a little less than an eighth, and it's like more than a sixteenth, but who's measuring? But they should be even. I guess that would be the key. And try to get them straight. Again, I'm just randomly grabbing these things. I'm not, I'm not measuring. I'm not any of that. And you go all the way to the top. And you, if you have any, if you extend the top, that's okay. Oh man, I got crooked. Um, that's all right. We'll fix that. So this one is extending over the top a little bit. I don't know where I went wrong. That's okay. So you can there. Yeah, now you can see it's over the top. We're going to be trimming that. You can use your scissors or you can use your paper cutter or a chopper to me works the best. So I'm using my little chopper thing. And I'm just going to chop it. And this you'll be cutting it so that the paper is three inches by five. So you can see one side has, is more uneven than the other. That's because I didn't fix that one. So now this is three. And then by five. And this one I know is, this is, cutter is not wide enough. So we're just going to cut that off. And so that's all there is to the actual technique is by, um, gluing them all on and you can see that they're all this is the back side you can see the glue you could also use the Tombow glue or you could use any any other kind of glue as well it, it all works and it works pretty well actually so now for club members you've got these little these are the thick foam strips and I have this is how they come and you get a hundred and no wait, forty strips. Forty strips in in the total package. You get two two of these, and there's twenty. So there's forty. So there's forty strips. And I cut these down to two and three quarters so that everybody would have some. So on the back, you will take the strips, and you'll just put the Put them on the top and not on the edge, so that's this one might be a little close. But on the top and on the bottom, like so, and then probably one in the middle. And you want to make sure that you put them on the colored part, not on the spots that that are empty. And we have two more here. We'll just stick them on. Like so and like so. Then you will need a piece of white cardstock that is three and an eighth by five and an eighth, or just five, either one. If you got your kit and you may not have gotten this white piece in there, just so you know. So you'll have to take a white piece of paper, white cardstock and cut it to three and an eighth by five. So we'll take our white piece, take off our strip covers, and then you have to um, just line it up. You have to decide if you want a larger one on top or bottom or however you want your design to go. Then you will make sure that it's even on both sides. This one's a little wider than the eighth and that's okay. It's a little bit longer. And then you just glue that on there. 
So that's pretty much the design or the technique. It's just basically putting them on the window sheets. To make to construct the card, I then took a piece of ribbon and cardstock. This is just four by five and a quarter and toward the left of it you will just put a row of adhesive and put the ribbon on. This is the polish pink like that and that way it'll lay nice and flat and glue the ends around. And we're very crooked here. There we go. Then we will attach this to the card and it's just a regular eight and a half by five and a half piece of thick white. I'll put that in the center. And then the popped up piece we will just put on this will have this will go flat just because it's so thick. You could probably use regular dimensionals but this is easier because you have long strips and it pops it up a little higher. And we're putting this toward the right of the card like an eighth of an inch top bottom and side like so. Then we have the wildflowers dies and I took two of them and I just cut them out in in black so they have a little silhouette and then I put in the wildflower dies as well there are some a little label and then I'll stamp that in using inspired thoughts and it this could be sending healing thoughts your way thinking of you on your special day thank you with heartfelt sympathy so there's quite a few different sentiments you could do and my one sample shows it on the side and it goes over and it just doesn't lay right so I think if you just put it on an ankle like that it'll look much better then I also decorated it with a couple of opal gems and this is I did sympathy and you may have an extra strip left over and that you can put on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this technique and you can try making one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.